Hello everyone and welcome back to our course on Word 2019. We're down in section 11 now where we're going to be talking a little bit about how you can work with envelopes and labels. And in this first module, module one, I'm going to show you how you can work with envelopes in Word. Now you can print any size envelope and you'll find all of your options for envelopes are on your mailings ribbon. So let's click on to there. And in this first group, the create group, we have two options, envelopes and labels. And we'll be looking at labels in the next module. But for now, we're going to start with envelopes. And this is what we get. So the envelopes and labels dialog box. So you'll note that this is the same window that we're going to use for both envelopes and labels. And we have the two tabs at the top. So I'm currently clicked on the envelopes tab. And you'll see the first thing that we need to do is we need to type in a delivery address that's going to go on the front of the envelope. Now you have a little drop down just here, which will allow you to pick something from your Outlook address book. But for the time being, I'm just gonna manually put a delivery address in here that I already have copied to my clipboard. And then the second large box we have here is a return address. So again, it's always good to put this in if you can, so that if the letter doesn't get delivered for whatever reason, that there is a return address on the letter. So let's just type uh, one of those in. So I'm just gonna use uh, my name for this. And we'll say 300 Elm Street. And I apologize to any Americans that we have uh, watching this course if I've got that uh, address format slightly wrong. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you understand what I mean. Now, we've got our return address in there. We have our delivery address, which is great. And you'll be able to see in the preview window on the right hand side where those two items are going to appear when we print the envelope. Now, you don't have to have a return address if you don't want to. There is an omit checkbox just here. So if you want to remove it, you can click that checkbox. And again, if you just check that preview, you can see that it's now disappeared off of the preview. And we also have a checkbox here to add electronic postage. Now, if you were to add that, you might get a message pop up like this saying you'll need to install electronic postage software before you can use this feature and you can download it on the Microsoft Office website. Now, I'm not going to do that, but if I just explain what electronic postage is, it will give you the ability to add a barcode to the top of your envelope so that at the post office they can scan it and know essentially how to route your mail. So just be aware that the option is there. And if you think that's going to be helpful to you, you might want to investigate downloading the little electronic postage add in for Word. Now, what else do we have in this dialog box? Well, next to the preview window to the right, we have this little thing that says feed. And that really shows you how to feed your envelope into the printer. So you can see here we kind of feed it in from the bottom with the return address if we have it nearest to us on the left hand side. So that's just a helpful little diagram so that you don't get your envelope the wrong way up. So let's take a look at some of the other buttons that we have down here. We have an options button. So let's jump into there. And this is where you can choose your envelope size. And you can see that mine's defaulted to size 10, which is a fairly standard envelope option. But you could, if you wanted to, measure the size of your envelope and then choose the uh, relevant size from the drop down list. But I'm happy to leave mine on 10. You can also change the font for the delivery address and the return address if you want to. And also change the spacing. So how far away from the left and the top that uh, delivery address and return address appears. And of course, you'll get a preview. So as you start modifying these settings, it will reflect down here. We also have a printing options box. And again, this is showing you the different feed methods that you can have when putting your envelopes into the printer. And you can choose face up, face down, and you can do a clockwise rotation if you want to. So just be aware that you have some additional options you can customize before you actually print your envelope. And again, this e-postage properties, you will require an adding for that. So if you'd uh, added electronic postage, this will be active as well. Now I don't have it, so I'm just gonna click no. Finally, I have these two options, so I can choose to print directly to the printer. So if I've loaded up my envelopes and I just want to print, I can do that. Alternatively, I could select Add to Document. So let's see what that looks like. Now, when I click that, it's going to say, do you want to save the new return address 
as the default return address. So that can sometimes be really useful, particularly if you're printing the same thing over and over. So I'm going to say yes. And there we go, there is my envelope. Now, I might want to go in and I might want to make some adjustments to that if I wanted to, like moving that address up very slightly. So you can do that because it is just a text box. Uh, remember, I did admit the um, return address, so I don't have it on there. But I could, if I wanted to, go back into envelopes and I could take that off and I could say change document. And there we go, it will put that back on there. And the cool thing about this is that you have your envelope at the top and then you have space at the bottom to type your letter or your document. So essentially you can print the whole lot in one go. You could load up your envelopes into one feeder and then you could have your plain letter paper or A4 paper in another tray and print the document directly after. So fairly simple to set up envelopes. In the next module, module two, we're going to look at how you can work with labels. So please join me for that. Hello everyone, this is Deb and we're in section 11, module 2, which is working with labels. So in the previous module we discussed how you can print and customise an envelope and now I'm going to show you how you can print labels. And when I say labels I'm talking about those sheets of paper where you can peel off and they're sticky and you can stick them onto parcels or whatever you want to stick them onto. And Word has a really good utility for sorting out your labels and printing labels. So let's jump straight up to that mailings ribbon again. And in that first group, we have a labels option. So let's click it. Now, you'll probably notice that this is exactly the same window that we were dealing with in the previous module when we were talking about envelopes. It's just defaulted us to the different tab, the tab named labels. So this is where we would come in and type in our address. So once again, I'm just going to type in a quick address. So we'll say Adam Lacey, PO Box 112, Charlotte, North Carolina, 70415. And then what you have is an option of what you want to print. So you can either print a full page of the same label. So it will have this address in every single label, or you can print just a single label. So you might be thinking, well, why would you want a full page of the same label? Well, if you are printing a full page, it might be good if you wanted to have a couple of sheets of pre-printed labels with your company address on them. So it's good for things like that. Now, if you select a single label, if you just want to print one, you're going to need to tell Word where that label is located on the page. So you need to tell it which row and which column. Now, I'm going to say full page of the same label. And let's just jump in and take a look at our label options. So the first section at the top is your printer information. So this is really where you tell Word where your labels are located, which tray they're located in. And then you need to pick your type of labels. And there are so many in this list. Now, a very typical label vendor that people use is this one just here, Avery US Letter. And again, there are so many different labels in here. These numbers correspond with the type of label or different brands of labels. So you'll see when I click on them, you get the label information at the side, which will tell you the exact height and width of the label and also the page size. So you can really go through and find the one that you need. Now, a really common one to use is the 8160 series. So I'm just going to scroll down and try and find that. Not as easy as it sounds. So there we go. I'm going to select this one just here and I'm going to click on OK. And again, I could choose to print directly to the printer, but I'm going to select new documents. And there we go. I have that address on all of my labels. So I can now just load up my labels into the printer and I can just go ahead and I can print these out. Now that's all well and good, but as you can see, each label has the same name and the same address because I chose full page. So you might be wondering, how do you get different names and addresses onto different labels? And that's where Mail Merge comes in. So let's now move on to section 12 and start working with Mail Merge. So I'll see you over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so that you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now, to get the full Microsoft Word 2019 course, including follow-along exercise files, click over there. And click over there 
to watch all the videos in this Word 2019 playlist.